Another great day for the pool. Yeah, fantastic weather out there. Very quiet and not as humid as recent days. So a little break from the really heavy humidity, a little bit of a breeze stirring things up right now. But uh, a chance to, of course, get a break from rain. Some people had a lot more than others in the past couple of days, but now we're looking at some fair weather uh, cumulus clouds and uh, dry skies. Here's a look from near Grand Meadow with our Lewis Donato camera. Some blue sky overhead, a gentle breeze here at the studio. 81 degrees, a light north wind at six miles per hour. Uh, drawing a slightly drier air. Dew points still well into the 60s, but not the low 70s at least at this, this point. And of course, today's the last day of June. And why is that significant? Well, looking back at the season, we go from July 1st to June 30th, the snowfall measurements. It start the summer when it's pretty safe. We rarely have snow this time of the year. In fact, we never have had snow at this portion of the year. And so we wrap up that official snowfall season. Anything that falls after today goes on to next winter's uh, seasonal uh, numbers. 41.7 was the official total. We haven't had any measurable snow since April, so nothing new there, but now it's official. That was the, the total of about 11 inches shy of what would have been the normal amount of snow. And a lot of that was because of December. That big deficit. We only had three inches of snow in December, and that was only about a quarter of the normal amount of snowfall. And the rest of the season was closer to average, but really a dry December started the whole ball rolling with this drier than weather, uh, normal weather that we've been having overall. 82 right now in Rochester, a dry, sun filled midday here in the Med City. It's 82 meanwhile in Austin right now, 82 in Rushford, and 81 in Charles City, Iowa. Some sun, a gentle breeze, dew point mid 60s. That's not too bad for this time of the year. 83 the feels like temperature, air pressure is steady. We're looking at warm sunshine today. Next couple days, not even this warm. We're going to shave off a couple degrees. Stay in the low 80s, but not extremely warm. That will, we will save for the weekend when we start getting closer to Independence Day, a, a time of the year you might normally associate with rich humidity and scorching heat, something like that. July weather. That's what we're going to see over the weekend and much of next week. But right now it's 82 in Rochester, Fargo 83, Minot 86. So a lot of warm weather around. Southward extra clouds and showers in parts of the area of the region anyway. Kansas City only 74. That's where uh, things are a little wetter now. Dew points down there in the low 70s. Rich humidity with that cold front moving down there into that direction. The one that swept their area yesterday bringing those areas some showers. High pressure has come in to replace it. Another front is on its way for tomorrow. That will bring some sparse shower chances to parts of the region. Not necessarily our area, but east of us may see a brief shower uh, and then a reinforcing shot of cool air behind us. 85 at the expected high today. Plenty of sun throughout the day. A gentle north and northwest breeze tonight. Temperatures dip back into the low 60s, similar to the readings we had last night. Right back to the lower 80s tomorrow. Not quite as warm tomorrow and even less humid uh, for our Thursday as that next cold front comes in. Spotty showers just east of our area this afternoon. High pressure glides to the area through today, tonight, and tomorrow. Again, spotty showers still off to the east again tomorrow. I think staying east of our area as that next cold front moves through. Reinforcing shot of uh, Canadian high pressure comes in for Friday. Good looking day. We'll have daytime temperatures uh, in the low 80s. And from there on the back side of that high pressure, the heat really begins to, to ramp up in the weekend, as will the humidity and isolated uh, showers and storms early next week. But nothing widespread in the way of rain down the road. It looks like very hit or miss showers. And again, we're saving that for next week when the humidity by then will be a lot higher as well. But the next couple of days looking a little less humid. So you get a variety there in, in that regard. But still a lot of 80s across the map and all that at or above the seasonal average for quite some time flirting with 90 at times next week and uh, looking at the outlook for next week the six to ten day uh, climate prediction center outlook all day through next Friday, uh, hotter than average weather for us. And you saw the numbers, and certainly that uh, uh, shows up well on the uh, national map as well in our portion of the region. 85 in Rochester today, uh, 84 in Austin, Mason City 85, and Saratoga 82 with some sun, a light north of breeze, and a rather pleasant but sunny and warm afternoon. 63, mainly clear tonight, and tomorrow some sunshine, 83, not quite quite as warm and a gentle northeast wind. Seven day forecast rain chances we will save for next week. Very sparse chances here and there and a lot of heat and of course by then also a lot of humidity. Yeah, that's it. We're going to be feeling that for sure. Thank you, Ted. You bet.